Can you really make $100 or more per day on Pinterest with affiliate marketing? That's today's question and I've been putting off doing a video like this for a while because I personally don't do a ton of affiliate marketing on Pinterest without a blog. And that's how a lot of these other YouTubers are presenting making hundreds if not thousands of dollars a day with affiliate marketing on Pinterest. And I wanted to bring you some realistic expectations for this and bring another kind of perspective to the, to the table because you see these videos, how to make $100 a day, how to make $300 a day with affiliate marketing on Pinterest. And honestly, the content in those videos feels very fluffy and like they're not actually giving you a ton of tactical advice or setting your expectations properly. We're not doing that here. I want to walk you through expectations and realities of actually marketing on Pinterest through affiliate marketing and what you can expect as well as some tactical things of how to do it. Generally speaking, if you are new to digital marketing and you have never done it before, then I would not bank on making a hundred or more dollars a day from affiliate marketing on Pinterest without at least learning some of the basics. Now, if you're not new to digital marketing and you understand how these platforms work, how affiliate products and how affiliate linking works, then you probably have a shot if you can find some higher paying affiliates. Now, affiliate programs like Amazon, unless you're selling in volume, you're not gonna make $100 a day until you get a lot of traffic. So you have to play based on volume. So this could be where your strategy is to promote higher paying affiliate products. And then you have the likelihood of making about a hundred bucks a day. There are two ways on how to make money with Pinterest, with affiliate marketing. Number one is without a blog. Number two is with a blog. So if you do the first route with a blog, there comes a little bit of overhead with that. So you're gonna have to pay for hosting, a theme, you're gonna have to set your website up, you're gonna have to do some SEO, trying to find keywords for Google if you wanna rank on Google at least. And then you're gonna have to do pin creation and learn how to use Pinterest. So there's quite a bit that goes into affiliate marketing with a blog. However, I will say, if you own your own website and you own that traffic, you in the long term are probably going to make even more money. The second way to make money on Pinterest without a blog, this is literally like creating your boards, getting your Pinterest profile set up, and then finding affiliate products within a niche and using those to then create pins. What platforms can I get affiliate links on? So there are these networks, these affiliate networks that you can actually get uh, links on and we will put them on the screen. Those include places like Amazon, Rakuten, Share a Sale, Awin, uh, CJ Affiliate. There's a whole number of them. You can see them there. If you are doing this with a blog, I would go in the direction of creating really high value content for those affiliate products and then directing your traffic from Pinterest to your blog posts. This way people are getting value from your content and they are more likely to pay and go ahead and buy the product. Depending on the price point of that product, it may take a while to actually think about before they actually invest in it. A couple different ways you can go about this even today, even with all the new tools, and that is like I just mentioned, sending traffic straight to your blog. But idea pins are also new, so you can actually create idea pins and link your affiliate links on those. So if you want to try that out, I would definitely go check out my idea pins playlist where you can learn about how to use those effectively. Now, one more caveat, idea pin product tagging with affiliate links and or Shopify products is not available in all countries as of filming this video. However, they are working on getting the product tagging feature out of beta. And I'm hoping as we move into 2022, you will be available to tag affiliate links and products as well as sponsored links on your idea pins if you're in any other country outside of the United States. So as of filming this, product tagging as well as affiliate links on idea pins is only available here in the US. How do you create a pin for your affiliate product? First of all, you need to go find your affiliate link. I will leave that up to you to figure out how to do. But once you have your affiliate link, you will then go to Pinterest and find your main keyword. If you need any tips or resources, I'll link the how to find keywords video up here in the top right hand corner, wherever this is. 
and you can go and learn how to find keywords. So I'm going to assume you know how to find keywords. You're gonna to go to Pinterest. You're gonna find a keyword that you want to put on the pin. Pinterest likes to use a lot of text overlay. So um, use your keyword on your text overlay as well as your pin title. You're gonna write a nice little description for it. You can use at this point in time, you can put a stock photo or if you pull an image from your affiliate network's website to use as the image on the pin, you can do that as well. And then that is it in Canva. You just need your text overlay and the stock uh, image or the image of the product. And then you export that from Canva, upload that into Pinterest, and you craft your pin from there. A couple of best practices to talk about when it comes to affiliate marketing on Pinterest. With a blog, without a blog, it doesn't matter. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is to niche down. You don't want to have an affiliate strategy on Pinterest that's covering food and decor and golf clubs and cars and sports. You wanna niche down and have one Pinterest account per niche. Now within that niche, you can open up and promote different products. So for example, if you went with a mom niche, like parenting and motherhood, you could do baby products as well as like new mom products. So for example, you could promote uh, breast pumps, strollers, car seats, baby clothes, all of those things that serves that mom at that point in her life. Like I said, you don't want to spread your, your wings too wide here and go too broad because you're going to confuse the Pinterest algorithm. So I would definitely choose a niche or a category and promote within that. If you're wondering what categories you can promote within on Pinterest, I do have a new video called Is Pinterest Marketing Right for My Business? I will link it and you can check that one out as well. Okay. Don't just create affiliate products and pins just to create them. Make sure you're creating them with intention. So if you are creating a pin about the 10 best strollers in 2022 and you have one affiliate link that's gonna go to the category page for these 10 strollers, then make sure that you are creating a pin that is serving that person and not just trying to clickbait them. Don't wanna be clickbaity, you wanna create pins with intention, so you want to use proper keywords, you wanna use imagery that serves the purpose of the pin, and you want that pin to feel much like the landing page that they're landing on. So you don't wanna trick them, okay? Don't use clickbaiting techniques, but make sure you're using high quality imagery and the keywords that are gonna get people to your product, your affiliate product, that is. Next best practice is to be patient because unlike a lot of these videos on YouTube of make $100 a day with affiliate marketing on Pinterest, you are not going to just create a Pinterest account, get some affiliate links and immediately start making hundreds of dollars a day. It's not gonna happen. Pinterest is a long game even when you're doing affiliate marketing without a blog. They will take time to get to know the keywords that you're trying to rank for, the boards that you're creating and match those with the right audience and making sure that you're serving that audience in the right way. You cannot just simply blast a bunch of affiliate products on Pinterest and expect to be making hundreds of dollars a day. So please be patient. It is not something that you're gonna do and immediately see ROI, okay? So be patient. The next best practice is to make sure you are telling people that these are affiliate links. It is required by law to tell people that you are making money um, from this product. So just simply a hashtag isn't generally best practice, um, but a simple little sentence in your description that says, this is my affiliate link will suffice. So you have to tell people according to the FTC, you can get fined if you're not telling people that there is a paid partnership with your affiliate link and the thing you're promoting. So make sure that you are above board and you are telling people that this is your affiliate link. So don't skip that step. The next best practice is to use a business account. In fact, a lot of people ask me that come to me who are just affiliate marketing, uh, they, they ask if they should be using a business account and I think that you should be, even though you won't have the ability to see the claimed domain and you don't own that traffic, you can at least see the impressions, clicks and saves on your pins. So at the very least, that little bit of data is gonna help guide you to know what is popular and what people are interested in 
among your content. They will also tell you things like your top boards, your top pins, um, pins that are getting great engagement. Maybe you want to recreate that again, or maybe there's a particular product that just gets all of the action on your Pinterest account and you want to continue to promote that. Having a business account allows you the capability of actually seeing that information. And then the last thing is if you're actually promoting anything as a business on Pinterest, whether it's your product or not, under Pinterest TOS, Terms of Service, you are required to hold a business account. So keep that in mind as well. So that's the quick and dirty for affiliate marketing on Pinterest and the things that you should know. If you're interested in the Pinterest strategy that I would tell my friends, head on over and watch this video and I will see you next time.